Good morning, everybody. So, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know this is my BMW 328i E93. I originally got this beautiful car in 2019, I believe, as a gift that I am super, super appreciative. But after I bought my Camry and started touching this and kind of modifying it, I kind of neglected this. And one of the biggest reasons why I did neglect this was because, as anyone may know, it is a BMW. And with BMW comes a lot, a lot of problems and maintenance that at that time I wasn't really ready for. And even now I'm unsure if I'm ready for. But I am super excited to say that I'm gonna be starting Project E93. Although I'm basically done with the Camry and that I don't really know what else to do with it, I really, really started appreciating this car a lot more. Um, if you guys don't know, I'll give you guys a little bit of what I know, which is not that much. But this car was the last car that BMW made with an inline six that wasn't turboed. Typically, these engines are a little underappreciated because they weren't put in any, in any cool cars or anything that's like a M or anything that's super powerful. Come with a three liter inline six making 230 horsepower um, and it's naturally aspirated, which is why it is sought after now considering all the turbo ones are you know, broken all the time. So, it doesn't look like anything here. I don't know why I thought it did, but it is in line six. If you guys see here, these are the six, this is the intake manifold, I think. I think it's what it's called. And here are the six cylinders. So, or are these cylinders? Something like that, you guys know, know what I mean. Yes, I am super, super excited to work on this car. Um, I think I definitely should have started a while ago, but I, I am now, so you know, better late than ever, and it's gonna be a super fun project for YouTube and hopefully TikTok and maybe Instagram. Right now, this car has 97,000 original miles. Um, ever since I got it, it, I got it at like 80-ish, and I don't drive that often, just because after I got the Camry, you know, this is a perfect daily driver. This is also a perfect daily driver, but I don't want there to be more issues. A problem I ran into last year was that the valve gasket cover um, here was like leaking oil, and so it was dripping onto my exhaust manifold, and then it, had that burning smell of oil that honestly most of these engines and BW cars in these this year have. When I the day I first got this car, I was so so happy. Like I'll I'll try to put in a clip here of how happy I was. It's here. It's here. Oh, it's so nice and it's so hot. That's perfect. I was like what 17? 17, 18 at the time, and I was like Super happy because it's like technically my, my first car, you know, like my first car and it was a BMW, like how amazing is that? And I was super, super grateful and even to this day, I still am. Speaking of problems, funny thing is that right now, it won't even run. It needs to get towed to a mechanic. All of a sudden, the starter gave up with me. And obviously, as many of you guys know, without the starter, you can't start up the car and it won't start up, it won't drive, it won't anything. So that's one thing I need to fix before I even start the E93 project. But after I get it back, I'm super excited. I'm, sorry, I'm excited to start it to show everything off. And I want to have this have this car as kind of your guys' input. So in the comments, leave out leave what kind of mods you guys want me to do first. And if you guys want this to be a budget build. If you guys want this to have a sort of price line that I'm I'm build under, for example, six thousand or under, five thousand under, probably somewhere around along those lines, considering I'm broke as hell. Uh, that would be good. But before it gets towed away, let's do a little walk around and show you guys what I have on it. So mostly everything is original. Original wheels, original bumper, everything. Um, when I first got the car, I worked with my girlfriend's dad and we plastic dipped the wheels, the grill, and the mirrors because I just I thought it was nice. I thought it was super nice and it worked for a really, really long time, but after a while it just doled out and I didn't like the look of it. And if you're wondering for this one, I do want to work on the engine a little bit, not too much, just like maybe like an intake. But if I do an intake, I have to be careful of the carbon buildup in the cylinders um, and the manifold. So that'll be a future problem that we'll look at as the car build goes on. So next up here, just a little thing I have, I bought when I first got it. Um, it's just this carbon fiber ductile spoiler. It's like a M3, M4 style. So this is completely faded though, if you guys can see this, it's like... This carbon, is, it's not even real carbon, it was like eBay, a carbon fiber, so it's like, it was like 50, 60 bucks at the time, and um, it, it lasted a long time, like it did really, really good. And just these recent months or years, it started um, shredding off like this, and so I'm definitely gonna get a new one, I'm gonna take this one off. The only other mod I really did on this car was that I got a muffler delete. A few years back, I wanted to make this car kind of louder, and I was kind of interested in modifying it, but I didn't go fully through with it. So, I did get one muffler deleted, and so, it sounds decent, not too bad, definitely a lot louder than it is stock, but, 
I do want to do a full muff for Anna Resin Delete. As recently, I've been watching a lot of videos, and it sounds really, really good. But other than that, yeah, I really haven't done much to this car. It's just that, um, the exhaust, tint, and that's really about it. So this car is mainly just bone stock and a big, big platform for me to work on. And like I said, I love this car so much, and I do want to work with you guys on this. I want to see what kind of input you guys want me to do. Um, wheels, or maybe these original wheels I really like, the spacers, maybe some coils, I'm not too sure, an intake, um, straight pipe, like I said. So maybe some other stuff, definitely. I want you guys to let me know in the comments what you guys really think, and I'm super excited for this. Although it's not a E93 M3, it is precious to me, and better it's a n52 so it's you know possibly more reliable this is gonna be amazing once it comes back and it's gonna be ready as for this interior it's not much either it's just a little tan color that i, I kind of like i actually don't know what this is i think it started happening when i started driving it so the only thing i don't really like is this wooden panel these wooden panels and like these i want to replace them so I kinda, i'll look on, on ebay or something but i do want to wrap these so kind of give me ideas in the comments what you guys want, want for this so what goes good with tan like I'm not sure if black or silver, chrome, something that goes gold with the car. So I feel like that'd be nice. Maybe Apple CarPlay as well, since this is not Apple CarPlay. And I do want to get the M style um, shift knob that has like the little letters on it with park, drive, blah, blah. So that'd be nice. Like I said, I want this car to be a lot of input for you guys. I want a lot of what you guys think to put in this car, not just what I want. Um, Cause this is for you guys. This is for kind of YouTube and kind of sort of fun for me as well. And I kind of want to see how this car comes out with everyone's input in it. So this is going to be the first video about the E93. And hopefully it'll be back in a week. And then I'll start it, see how it goes. And I'll definitely read everyone's comments and inputs about what we should do first. I think first thing I'm definitely going to do is, is wash the car and polish up the paint. Because it needs a one step paint correction, definitely. Uh, but I've definitely gotten to the stage where I appreciate this more than I did when I first got it. Especially being older and wanting a faster car compared to this. This is gonna be amazing. So, I'll see you in about a week or two with the first modification and video for this. Bye guys.